I spent six months uh, living in Ghana in 2013 and then six weeks in 2015, um, which kind of led to my passion and interest, uh, which grew, um, which is also not just specifically within Ghana, but also all over Africa. Um, I was ba mainly looking at um, Ghana's potential for its tourism, um, looking at kind of um, what um, what the current status of t tourism is within Ghana and also what needs to be changed and developed to increase tourism as well. At the mini, because people are becoming more aware of DNA and more aware of what they're actually depositing, they're now getting so much more touch DNA, which is where you literally you'll touch an item and you leave some DNA behind. Currently they're using cotton swabs, which are these ones, and that's because they're so cheap and all the police forces are using them. But when we've actually looked at the results and looked at previous research, we're finding that they're not actually the best swabs to use. Um, so basically we found that cotton, as we predicted, did perform the worst, with only one swab producing any results, and it didn't produce any with the previous system, only with the new system. The viscous and the foam swabs, which are the two newest swabs that very little research has been done on, have actually performed the best, with almost double the amount of profile of a cotton swab. My project is called DoorSmart. DoorSmart is a retrofitable electronic wireless door locking system. So it replaces your existing sash mortise type lock. No special tools required, no specialist knowledge, you don't need to be a technical person. You just unscrew and take out your door lock, throw it away, take this one, fit it in, power it up, and you're good to go. You scan in cards or tags and give those to the people you want to have access to your home. And when they approach the door, they hold the card up to the door and the door opens and locks securely behind them as well. And it's completely inconspicuous and invisible, you don't even know it's there.